Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of Legend of Grimrock 2. Now before we go onwards and actually go through those doors we found earlier, I figured we might as well come back here and see what's in this chest. Are you a mimic? No, you are not. Good. That gets us another rage potion and a mysterious looking staff. A Zarkton harpoon. Ooh, what is this thing? This is a two-handed strength weapon. Okay. Requires light weapons three to use. So it's actually not a heavy weapon, which means we won't be able to use them with our main warrior. But maybe it'll be a replacement for our de fist dagger? I don't know. It has a thrust, double damage, high accuracy attack, which requires energy to use. Gives you plus ten accuracy simply to carry it. And it is also a reach weapon, which is kind of cool. This polearm has two serrated prongs and is a common sight among the aquatic Zarkton warriors, since it can be used comfortably both dry, on dry land and while underwater. Ooh, is this a weapon we can use to fight while we're in the water? If it is, that's really cool. I'm gonna equip that in your offhand. We might try that later because that sounds really interesting. Really interesting. We're gonna get rid of this tribal spear, maybe put it in somebody else's inventory, which will put it in an item sack, because I don't think we're going to be using it. Tribal shield, tribal spear, and the entire tribal set might be an achievement, though, so we might try putting that all on before we dump it somewhere. But, that's a pretty cool thing, so let's make our way back towards our objective, which I believe is back down this way. There we go. And we'll be able to find out... Where are we? Are we in the right place? Yeah, we're facing the wrong way, though. We'll be able to find what we do when we hit these switches. So... Let's get ready for it. We will put a iron key in here. Nothing bad's happened yet. That gets us a pair of throwing knives, which is unfortunate, because I don't keep those anymore. Hitting the switch doesn't seem to do anything yet. Alright. Key number two. This has a bone helmet. A bear skull helmet. Manitar? What do you think? Protection plus four, strength plus four, evasion minus five without light armor proficiency. Wow, that's an awesome helmet. The most bloodthirsty of the fjord dwellers wore helmets crafted out of bear skulls. That's a huge attack bonus. So we can give it instead of this, which means that our our main warrior there gets a ton of firepower bonus for no no strength loss. Or no protection loss, rather. They get a little bit less evasion, but that is some serious firepower we're getting in place of it. That is awesome. Plus, it makes sense that our Barbarian would wear a skull. That is super cool. Alright, now he's even stronger. What bad things are about to happen to us? That was bad things! Thankfully, I backed up one extra tile. Alright, let's get some spells ready here. <laughs> they didn't want any of that. Ah, I missed. I'm almost out of bullets, too. I should be really careful with those. We don't have a whole lot left. And if we run out, we're not going to be able to use our guns at all. Hello there, gentlemen! Can I interest you in an attack from behind? Power up. Come on forwards! Bah, bah, bah. That's awesome. It does seem like the person on the right actually attacks the right column now, whereas the person on the left attacks the left, which is pretty cool, because in the original game, You'd always attack them in a specific order, which meant that uh, it'd be a little bit tricky to kill them in some ways. And it seemed like throwing weapons always hit one person, which meant that you'd always clear the enemies out in a specific order, which is a bit weird. But these guys are not going that way, which is cool. There's one dead. That's the guy we hit with the triple attack. Oop, didn't mean to do that. We're right here, back by the healing again, which is nice. Thankfully, this guy doesn't know how to pull that lever, otherwise we'd be in the pit for sure. Alright, let's heal up. Why not, since we're right by the healing crystal? And we'll go back and take the fight back to them. I don't need any of this junk, do I? Skull cleave? Nah, that's all. All junk. Where'd the warrior go? Hello there, sir. Charge up a super attack. Bop, 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 bop. There we go. Get some good hits in. Blast him with the area effect magic again. One down already. That's what we like to see. The quicker they die, the better in my book. Boop. And another one down. Excellent. Nothing back in this little secret area. Doesn't look like it. 
All right, we fought our way to victory from the looks of it. Anything in here? Nope. What about on the other side? Ooh, power gem. Yes, please. All right, this is the first power gem we've gotten from this area, so that's exciting. Was there another door that opened up that allowed more enemies in, or was it just that one set? It looks like that was all. Okay, what's through here then? The way down, right. All right then. Hmm. Let's take a peek around the map. Where was the fall of the light notice? Did I find that? I didn't mark that down from the looks of it. I should have. I don't know. I don't remember where that follow the light message came from now. I'll have to go back and look for that later, I guess. Alright, well let's venture down into the depths. I think we've really cleared out everything there is to do here, so what lies below in the ruins of Desarune? Probably horrible abominations, but until we find them, there's no way for us to know for sure. Nothing fancy visible around here. Taking a peek at the walls, as always, because you never know when there's going to be secrets hidden in them. And this looks like a trap, if ever I've seen one. Alright, what's going on in here? The Hamlet of Stormbreach Sewer Access. The Archives. Windgate to Surface. Okay. Take some bread on board. Eat some bread. Let's try feeding you some bread. Do you like bread, Minotaur? I don't seem to care about bread. Alright. We have more cheese for you? Probably. I shouldn't waste the food value, but you're good. And you got a dexterity up, too, so that's awesome. And you could eat something, too, couldn't you? So I'll give you a lizard on a stick. Delicious. Okay. Well, then. Ah, to keep this pressed. This is why I take so many rocks around. This is why I keep dead torches. Because they're great for throwaway buttons like this, where you want to keep something of value instead. I don't know when we're going to need more droppable items, but I'm sure we will at some point. The Hamlet of Stormbreach Sewer Access. The Archives. Let's go to the Archives first. Okay, that was weird. That's a long tunnel up. I don't really want to touch this yet, because I don't know where this goes. Windgate to surface. Yeah, I don't want to touch that yet. I don't know where that goes at all. So let's go this way and see what's in here. Another way down. This looks like an enormous trap. Like, you see that opening floor panel right there. I'm guessing it's when we take the book, the floor opens. So we'll try something to avoid that in a second. What's this? Why does everything have to be so scary looking? Long, dark hallways. Ah. I see. <laughs> The storage. Te uhu na pala, uhu na pala na, r e famco lamco, waka duki solo. <laughs> Okie doke, what's this? The archives. Uhu na, r e te na, ami ar na. Don't know anything about that. All right. Enormous grid puzzle. That's what. That's what we're putting this on the map as. Mystery language grid puzzle. We'll come back here later. I get the feeling we have to learn that language before we can get in there. Let's try this, though. I have a theory here. This might not work, but we're going to try it. Ha-ha! We stole the book. 
This is a Tome of Energy. Energy plus 25. Awesome. I might give that to our Minotaur and then give the Willpower book back to our Mage so he gets the better regeneration. I dare you, it says. That's awesome. Alright. Well, I think we are going to give the Energy Tome to the Minotaur so he'll be able to use abilities on his weapons. And then we can actually afford to give the Wisdom uh, Regeneration Boost back to the person who already has high regeneration and who needs that willpower the most. Okay. So we stole the item from them, which is great. We have to go down further, though, here. So let's find out what awaits us another floor down. Aha, the lexiconery. I bet you this teaches you how to understand that language. Hmm. I don't trust this place, either. I can hear a lot of enemies in the walls. A lot of enemies in the walls, and it would not surprise me if these are traps. Doesn't seem to be so far, though. Why do I not have any shurikens? Oh yeah, I moved them for the single rock throw. Right. Right. How about this one? No, not a trap either. Okay, what's in this box? A bunch of different food items. Fair enough. I'll take some extra foods. Okay then. Well, that'll do. That's a little bit of extra reward for us. I definitely hear a lot of stuff in the walls here, though. Is there no way to get in there? Or do we just have to go around and fight them when we eventually find the actual way in? That's probably what it is. Alright. Let's keep going. We got lots more ground to cover. Open the obvious door. That's an interesting piece of stonework on the ground there. Oh, hello! I got me. Alright. Turn the corner there, friend. Ah, one was a miss. Can't win them all, I guess. Ow, stop it. He's gonna be very immune to magic, or our magic anyway, so that's not gonna help us much. Didn't mean to back up to here, but I guess we have to deal with it now. Out of the way. At least this room is a decent arena to fight in. If you gotta get around a good amount of room to maneuver. I hit him with a torch. Oh, that actually does good damage since he's ice elemental, I suppose. And I missed. Those levels in accuracy aren't doing their work yet. Come on around the corner again there, friend. Boop! Uh oh. Careful there, you. There's a nice crit. Don't have the energy for that. I do have the energy to smack him in the face, though. Alright, there we go. Whoo, boy. I really need some uh, appropriate... Oh, Appropriate elemental magic, don't I? Now, stay in the fire. Oh, the fire's gone. Hoping we'd be able to get him again with that, but I guess not. Come on. Got me before I could get the full attack off, unfortunately. I guess that's the problem of using longer combo abilities. I don't want to go any further forward in this room, because I don't know what those special tiled areas do. Come on, now. You don't want to kill us. You just think you do. And you're dead. Okay, good. Whew! These guys are nasty. Bunch of crabs in there. Is there another Atronach in here? No, we're good. Okay. There's a rock back. Although the rocks are in the Minotaur's hands at the moment. There definitely are more Atronachs around, though. There's nothing else in here, really? That seems strange to me, that there'd be nothing here. Well, there's an area over that way we definitely can go in. There's a clear stone pathway in the floor that leads into here. Hmm. Well, let's explore this area, because it is not part of that pathway. Oh. 
Oh, okay, we got another puzzle room here. The lexiconery. Ah! Alright, we have to find some way to open the lexiconery. What is this? I can't fly. I can walk. I'm alive. And I'm the strongest. Okay. Healing potion, perhaps? I'm the strongest would be something that maybe gives us a strength bonus. I can't fly. Let's put a fish in there. Do I have any fish left? I should. A lizard on a stick in this one? It's got legs, right? There's a fish. Well, that didn't do it. <laughs> I'm not surprised that my first solutions to these puzzles never work properly, but... I can't fly. Something that specifically cannot fly anymore, perhaps. Or something that causes them to be over-encumbered? I'm not sure. Light up the room fully. What else do we have that might be able to fit those roles? I'm the strongest might also just be incorrect, and the rest might be fine. I'm alive might also be incorrect. But I'm the strongest. What else could we put in for I'm the strongest apart from strength boosting gear? Maybe a heavy weapon of some kind? No, unless that wasn't all we needed. Bear claw gauntlets? No. Hmm. It's hard to say then. What else could we have in here that we could maybe use for these? Are they all potions? Like a rage potion there makes you stronger? I'm alive as a healing potion? You can walk? Is a speed potion? And I can't fly. I don't know what that one would be. Wouldn't surprise me, though, if they're all potion types of some kind. What other potions do we have access to? Transmuter's potion. I still have no idea what that does. I don't know. Do we have anything else that we could use in that vein? Let's try and make one of these transmuter potions. I have enough stats for it, don't I? Yes, I do. So let's see what that is first. I don't know if it's going to tell us, but we'll, we'll make one. One Mudwort and one Falcon Skyre. Mm, mudwort, Falcon Skyre. Potion of Bear Form. Ooh, that's cool. Give that to you. You can be a bear. Um, but yeah, I don't know what else that could be. If it's not related to potions, I don't know what that last one is. And if it is related to potions, I'm still not sure what that last one is. Hmm. We may have to come back here later and work on this a little bit more. I'll leave those potions here for now, though. Because that might be what it is. That does feel related to me. I'm worried about the running low on bullets situation, though. That is not cool. There's a good amount of damage on him, but holy cow, these crabs hurt. Uh-oh. Game's doing some wonky things. For some reason, I ran straight through there instead of... turning and going backwards down this tunnel like I intended. Like, we're, we're lagging a little bit, which doesn't make any sense. I don't know why it would be doing that. Yeah, these guys hurt, though. You forget sometimes how bad they hit. Oh, I didn't mean to come back this way. This could be trouble. Come on. Come on. Fight me. Where are you going? I mean, I don't mind that you're running away. It's just very weird. Uh-oh. It's the sideways walk that gets you. But down goes the crab. We got a key from him. Ooh. Okay. A round key to add to our collection. You've injured your feet. Chug that potion. You'll be fine, sir. Make another one to replace the one you've lost. There we go. I gotta say, though, 
I don't know what else we could be putting in those puzzle rooms at the moment. There's more nasties in here as well. We can hear them. Potions here. There's a healing potion. And there's an energy potion. Hmm. Potions may actually be related. I don't know yet, though. There's the round key room. What else is down here? There's a long lot of walking you can do in this place. A whole lot of walking. There's a button. Enemies? Enemies. You gonna get out of the way so I can fight you? I don't want to fight you here. But I'm gonna have to. Oh, you can come down. Oh! Ow. That hurt. Alright, well, it's, you learn something new every day, right? Right. Let's get ready to punch this guy in the face. Get out the way. Stab him. Keep moving. He should keep coming this way. Out of the way. We'll get him eventually like this. It might not be the fanciest method, but he'll die, and then we can go see what he's guarding. Come on. One more. There we go. Keep coming. And he's down. Good. Okay, one more Antronach out the way. Let's go check out what's up here. Ooh, what is this? A crystal shard of protection. We got a secret sniffer achievement as well. Protects the party against physical damage. Protection plus 25 for 40 seconds. Wow. These items are probably going to fall into the too good to use category, but we'll see what we can do about that. Let's equip some lightning bombs in your offhand for now. Okay. That is pretty cool, though. Is there anything else up here? That looks like it's about it. Alright, what else is down here? I don't really see much else in this area yet, but we haven't gone down the end of the hallway yet, which is where I suspect whatever nasties are lying in wait here can be found. Oh. Well. That's a nice find. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, why is everything here traps? Why is everything in here traps? Hello, crab! Come on, crab. Let's do this thing. This is how we're gonna do it. This is how we're gonna do it. I'll even use one of my very rare bullets on you. Ooh, that was a nice stab. Sometimes you get good damage on those attacks. Sometimes not so much. Hang on, what's this? What am I backing into right now? Oh, goodness. I backed myself into a corner with this guy. We need to hit him hard right now. Right now. Because otherwise, we are going to be dead. Okay, we got him. Nobody died. What is this? <laughs> what did I back into? Where am I? I didn't see this area before. A scroll. Rock. Sword. Oh. Well, that's kind of straightforward there, game. And that's just not actually what it is. Let's try it, though. Do I have any specifically things named scroll? I do. Scroll. Rock. Sword. Nope. Alright. Well, let's go heal first, and then we'll come back and take a look at that. I think we did just use this, though, so it's gonna be dead now. Yeah. Oh well. Let's level up you first. We're gonna stick this maximum point in armor for you. Make you even tougher, then we'll go put some more accuracy into you. Because that will make you a little bit healthier. <sighs> Problem is, those broken bodies definitely slow us down. You've got a damaged foot and a chest injury. Not ideal. But if we're just going to be sitting here trying to figure this room out, I don't know what's in there, but it looks fancy. Scroll. Rock. Sword. Rock, paper, scissors is what I'm seeing here.
I don't know. Says scroll, says rock. Do we have to get something that literally says sword on it? Because if we need something that just says sword, that's really mean game. This is literally a long sword. It's, it's perfect what you're asking for. Unless... Like I said, unless it's something rock, paper, scissors-y. Or what we actually need... ...is to choose the right option. I don't know. Let's put a random scroll that actually has a spell on it in here instead. Maybe that'll work a bit better. Scroll. Rock. Sword. Still nothing. Okay, there's some weird puzzles in here, I gotta say. Let's try moving them all over by one. Well, that was weird. It was scroll, rock, sword, offset by one. I'm not sure why. Unless the scroll line was an instruction as well as a thing. Scroll it down one. Whoa, hello! We found some bugs. That's not good. Not good at all. Especially not with how close to death we all are. There we go, he's dead. Oh. I don't like having to use those items, but I was not... <laughs> not expecting that to happen. I don't even know what that is. We need to go heal, though, real bad. Oh, thank goodness the crystals regenerated. Free healing is the best healing, okay. Back to normal speed, everything should be okay now. Let's grab these items back. Nope, that closes the door. Well, that's our backup weapon gone, unfortunately. Ogre figurine, oh no. Tiny, intricate tools that they're marking us all over this figurine. They almost look like battle scars. Well, the ogre figurine is the strongest. I bet you that's what it is. I bet you we need to find some more figurines to open that area. Okay. That's what we're getting into here, isn't it? Is there anything else hidden in this room? I doubt it. But let's take a quick peek, because I'm going to take my items back otherwise. I don't see anything in here. Alright, so we're gonna loot our items back off this table. Put them back into our inventories and such. To make sure we're not missing anything in the future. Oh! It was rock, paper, scissors! Moving them down one meant that the thing we put beat the thing that they were playing. That was a rock, paper, scissors puzzle. That was why moving it down one helped. I was correct, I just didn't think about it in the right way. Clever. Clever. Alright. More bugs, it sounds like. Are they back here now? Have they been loosed? No, they're in this room still. Alright, we're gonna have to go in there eventually, but I'm not super keen on fighting the bugs. Let's go take one more look over in this direction, the area we've just unlocked. We fought a crab and ran away for our lives. And then we're probably gonna have to end this episode soon, as we have more or less hit our time limit for today. That's the way down into there, which looks like it has some more goodies hidden away, perhaps. Okay... Okay, I don't know what's up with this, but we'll take a look-see. This looks like another arena room, honestly. Or a teleportation-based puzzle. Ooh. Some weapons in there and such. There's a button. This is a long path, much longer than I expected. Ho <laughs> ho! Oh, I'm glad I backed up. Alright, let's just put a little note there. Switch activated portal. Don't know what that does, but I don't want to mess around with it right now. I'm glad I didn't get caught in it. 
Mushroom, thank you very much. There's a door. Where does this even go? Another door. Oh, hello. Okay, no. Okay, I don't think they can get to us right now. Can they? Doesn't look like it. I was gonna say, I don't think they can get to us right now, so I think we're actually safe for now. So we can go fight those guys later, but we're not gonna do that today, since, like I said, we're at basically the end of our time for today. We've got this door to go investigate later, we've got... All of this area to investigate later, and we have that area right by our save point. So we're gonna go back and start working our way through them in a more logical order, instead of just wandering around willy-nilly, but... Thank you very much for watching, everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor playing some more Legend of Grimrock 2 for you. If you've enjoyed today's episode, let me know what you thought about in the comments below. Thank you again very much for watching, and until next time, bye bye